Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. India started working on area denial weapons after China has developed DF-21D and DF-26B nuclear capable missile to counter US Navy and has brought naval base Guam within its reach. As a counterbalance, the progress of Agni-P became crucial part of India's Indo-Pacific strategy to tackle China's plan of having six or five aircraft carrier battle group by 2035 to cover both Pacific Ocean and Indian Ocean. Till now, DRDO has conducted three successful tests of Agni Prime missile. The median trial of Prime was conducted on 28th June 2021, followed by second test on 18th December 2021 and third test on 21st October 2022. Now recently, a no-fly zone has been issued by Indian Strategic Forces Command and DRDO from 18th to 19th May 2023. The NOTAM has area warning spanning at a distance of 1680 km in Bay of Bengal. Considering the NOTAM distance, this test is going to be of Agni Prime missile. Now talking about Agni Prime, it is a two-stage solid propellant ballistic missile with a dual redundant navigation and guidance system. It features a ring laser-based gyro inertial navigation system and a modern micro navigation system borrowed from Agni-5. The missile has range between 1000 to 2000 km and features all composite structure including the casing which significantly reduces its weight and considerably improves its range. Agni Prime looks more like a mini variant of bigger Agni-5 and actually it does incorporate many technologies that were exclusively developed for Agni-5 program which includes first for India of integrating hermetically sealed tandem twin canister made of composite materials that allow easier storage of missiles and quicker salvo launches and also makes it difficult for satellite to pick them up when on the move. Now since Agni Prime is a canister launch missile, it can be stored for a longer period and can be transported across the country via rail, road or as per the operational requirements. The other major enhancements of Agni Prime over its predecessors include fully upgraded composite, new propulsion system, innovative guidance and control mechanism and state-of-art navigation system. It is a sleeker missile with weight one-fifth and dimension almost half of Agni-3 missile which makes it stealthier than its predecessor. This provides the missile better evasion capability against anti-ballistic missile defense. So Agni Prime is being developed to replace Agni-1 missile which has been in service and has range between 700 to 1200 kilometers and Agni-2 which is having range between 2000 to 3500 kilometers. Agni Prime will also complement Agni-5 missile. This missile can carry warhead between 1500 to 3000 kilogram. A notable feature of Agni Prime is four delta fins for terminal maneuver which can defeat ballistic missile defense system and can also be used as anti-ship ballistic missile when a new variant is developed based on the Agni Prime missile. This missile also uses cold launch mechanism and can be fired in salvo mode. DRDO is working on a 1500 km range conventionally armed ballistic missile with an anti-ship capability and it is expected to be based on Agni Prime. Besides aircraft carrier, the new ballistic missile can also target land-based assets across LSE in Xinjiang, Tibet and Yunnan provinces. Due to its range, the new missile will provide deterrence against the adversary's carrier strike group and at the same time protect its own aircraft carrier. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.